this word terra incognita is a homage to you know Aboriginal Australia and uh, the work was really produced for my National Gallery show which happened in 2006. The background image to Terra Incognita is it's from a work by Emily Kanawara who is one of the great artists not only of Australian art but of world art and it's based on Emily's masterpiece I think which is uh, Big Yam Dreaming but I've turned it into a ghost image and it fills the whole area of the painting. With this work, Terra Incognita, I wanted to actually acknowledge the extent of Aboriginal Australia. I came across a map by David Horton which showed Aboriginal Australia and it showed over 400 tribal language groups and it looked like a map of Europe. Suddenly I realised that there was uh, great diversity um, among Aboriginal people. So somehow I wanted to commemorate this uh, discovery. The names are distributed geographically because the painting isn't the same shape as the map of Australia. As you get up to Cape York, the names get kind of compressed. So here you have the Aboriginal people of the Monero, who are the Nagarigo, and uh, and these are actually Christian symbols, just to remind us of uh, the original settlers. In the process of painting it, I got to know the names of all these uh, tribal groups because the process is very fastidious. They're, the names are not simply painted, but they're carved through masking tape and. Uh, I spent a lot of time actually producing each name and I think names are very powerful in themselves. A friend, uh, artist friend whose uh, mother is Aboriginal, Ian Waldron, uh, when he saw this work in the National Gallery, he cited his uh, mother's tribal group, which is Kircha, and he said he couldn't, it was incredibly emotional, it brought tears to his eyes because he felt that he and his background had somehow been recognised. And this is really the effect that I couldn't have anticipated, but in fact that it's an understandable um, response. The main impulse I had with this work was to celebrate the kind of reinvention of Aboriginal culture through art. Um, which began really with the Papunya Tula movement in 1972. And it's really a testament to the resilience of Aboriginal culture that they've found a way to reinvent themselves, you know, out of dismal kind of circumstances. So the painting also has a few other elements. One of them is a grim reaper, which comes from a work of a Chilean artist who I know personally, Eugenio Ditborn. It's really there to remind us that how the devastation that the British settlers caused to all these different tribal groups. Wave after wave of, uh, of destruction. But the reason the seven is there is because in 1992, I began a series of works beginning with Diaspora in 1992, which were all the same size as this work. And this is the seventh work in that series. The first work was about my own Latvian identity, a displacement of my parents. And this work is about the displacement and identity of Aboriginal people. This work, Terra Incognita, wouldn't have been possible if I hadn't been collaborating with Michael Nelson. And that process started in the uh, beginning of 2001, and this work was done f four years later. I wouldn't have had the uh, confidence to continue with addressing, you know, themes about Aboriginal art. After the Nine Shots uh, debate, I steered clear of any uh, reference to Aboriginality because I didn't want to fuel that moment. But then when I started collaborating with Michael Nelson, I realised it was just a, a process where the two of us uh, came together. 
on these works. We worked separately, but uh, with our own sort of imagery. Somehow, the act of collaboration uh, was was a place where we could meet in a meaningful way. So th this work is really a, a homage to to Aboriginal Australia, and it's you know to prove that Terra Nullius didn't ever exist. It's wonderful to see this work after after 10 years and uh, in fact it's interesting then to think that it's 20 years, it was 20 years between the nine shots and Terra Incognita and uh, every time I come into the gallery I love seeing it. It's fantastic. Thank you.